What's going on everybody? I am always amazed at how much I learn from all of you. See, one of the things that I've continued to say and make a priority in this channel is to not just have me speaking to all of you, but to be listening to what all of you have to say to me. Because a lot of you know a lot more than me. And I'm learning from you all the time. So when I have people say, hey, I've learned a lot, I really enjoy this channel, I'm thinking the exact same thing. I'm really having fun, I really enjoy the channel, and I'm learning a lot as well. The thing that's really cool about my Wednesday videos, where I do my questions and answers, is that I'm always able to hear what you all are interested. See, that's the best part for me. It's fun to give my opinion. I think a lot of people like sharing their opinion, but I, I'm at least as equally interested in hearing what you all have to say and then hearing your responses to what I had to say. And I'm always listening. I'm always listening to what you all are saying. And when I'm reading comments, I'm always looking for ideas, suggestions for improvements. And one of the comments that I got to last week's Q&A video was a really good suggestion. It was a suggestion from Andrew Deutsch. Now, Andrew has been a longtime commenter on my channel and a bunch of channels. A lot of vintage channels I see him commenting on. I see him on live streams as a commenter and, and making opinions and questions. And he's a very knowledgeable guy. And I'm always interested in what he has to say. And his suggestion was, what if as part of your Q&A, you include a question to your subscribers and you ask that question to your subscribers and then you maybe highlight some of the responses that you think are some of the better responses or more intriguing or interesting responses. And I immediately responded and said, this is a great idea where I'm absolutely gonna try this. But then the more I thought about it, I, I feel, I feel like it needs more time than just part of the Wednesday video. So here's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try another weekly ongoing episode. And I hope that it works because I've been really excited about this since this suggestion came up. And, and, and here's my thought. What I wanna do is every week on a different day, not Wednesday, its own episode, its own day. I want to throw out a question that I'm curious on your opinions. And then hopefully people will respond. And then I'm gonna go through all the responses. I'm gonna pick a few of them that I thought had some really interesting insight or opinions or thoughts. And I'm gonna highlight them and I'm gonna share them with you in the following week's episode. So next week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick some of the best or I think most interesting comments from this week's question. And then next week, I will highlight some of those and I will talk about why I think that those comments are so interesting. And then I'm also gonna lay out the question for that upcoming week. Now, because this is the first time we're doing this, I don't have any questions to show responses to. So this will be a little bit of a shorter video, but I wanna introduce this idea and I really, really think that this could be really cool. I think it's better of an idea than just a Wednesday also and. I think it's a great idea. See, a lot of you have insight. A lot of you have knowledge. A lot of you have opinions that are really interesting and really good ones. So, for this first week, let me share with you the question that I want to hear your opinion on. 
And in the comments below to this video, give me your response, give me your thoughts, give me your opinions and why. And then I'm going to pick a few and we're going to talk about it next week. So here's my question for this week. If we were to look forward 10 years from now, in 10 years, what do you think in the card market will increase in value the most? I'm not just talking dollar amounts because it would be really easy to say the 52 Mickey Mantle because if it goes up 1%, that, you know, might be like $1,000. I'm talking, what is the trend? What is the thing that's going to sneak up? See, if we went back 10 years, one of the things that went up a ton were Jackie Robinson cards. They've really exploded in value. There are other things as well, but that's one of the highlights. So my question, 10 years from today, what card what player, what set, what type of card, what sport do you think will have gone up the most 10 years from today? I think we all have opinions on this. And I think a lot of you have really good thoughts on this. And none of us know because we don't have a crystal ball. But I think that we can all speculate. And I think it's a fun thing to talk about. So down below in the comments, type your response. What do you think will go up the most in the next 10 years and why? And a week from now, I'm gonna choose some of those best responses or the responses I think are most interesting and then share next week's question too. I'm really excited about this. I hope that you get excited about this too, but it only works if you all down below give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this topic. What do you think about this video idea? But most importantly, what do you think is gonna go up the most over the next 10 years? Let me know.